Breaking news, guys. Ryan Grubb leaving Alabama before coaching a game. One month in, going to the NFL for that much-rumored offensive coordinator job with the Seahawks. We're going to talk about that, Alabama's replacement plan, and the future of the Crimson Tide with their offensive coordinator taking a job in the NFL. Thanks for hanging out with us here on the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel presented by Pearl River Resort. Let's get this thing started, guys. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. That's a way of saying roll tide. Let's get this thing started. Hey everybody, welcome to the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. Here on a breaking news Saturday to talk about Ryan Grubb, Alabama's offensive coordinator who never coached a game for the Crimson Tide. But first, let me remind you guys, I'm at Broadcaster Mick on the socials. And uh, yeah, this was something that, that broke late Friday night and then, you know, kind of wanted to see how things really transpired i mean when you start hearing reports from guys like ian rapaport in the nfl you know that it's pretty legit i mean those guys their job is to know this stuff and uh after saying a week ago hey i'm alabama's uh offensive coordinator uh, ryan grubb you know after signing day he's off to the nfl and what i've said the whole time about this you, if you want to coach in the NFL, then you go to the NFL, right? If you want to coach in college, you coach in college. It's, it's two different worlds. Same game, but different, right? And I can't blame someone for wanting to basically take the jump to the NFL. I mean, you know, winning a Super Bowl, you know, may be the biggest thing that you can do in sports, not just in football. So Ryan Grubb going to the Seahawks, he joins Mike McDonald, who was the Ravens defensive coordinator. They'll be part of one of the younger staffs. He'll actually be older than the head coach. And he comes in with a track record of success and a high powered offense. What he was able to achieve with Michael Penix what was like the number one pass offense in college football last year. They had a top 15 total offense and they take over a Seahawks team that struggled last year to, uh, you know, on, on the offensive side of the ball, replacing Pete Carroll, who was the oldest coach in the NFL, right? Is he older than um, Bill Belichick? Yeah, I think he was, right, 72? And then, um, you know, now they ha they'll have the youngest staff. So for Grubb, he's taking one guy with him that we know of, unless something changes, but offensive line coach Scott Huff. So uh, Huff will go with Grubb to the NFL. And Alabama will restru restructure the uh, the coaches that they have right now. And that includes this guy replacing um, Grubb as the play caller. Now, you, you still have DeBoer there, right? And it's just kind of like the same thing that we saw with Nick Saban as Alabama's head coach. He was always the defensive coordinator, right? I mean, yeah, you had Pete Golding and you had Kirby and all that, but like, like Kevin Steele said this year, hey, that's the guy, right? He's on our side of the ball, so you're working with him. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you're going to call plays. Offense is a little different than defense. And Sheridan, who is a former quarterback at Michigan, his dad, Bill Sheridan, longtime NFL coach, really good coach, X's and O's guy. And Sheridan was, I think, the youngest offensive coordinator in the country when he was at Indiana. Part of this crew that DeBoer has assembled that have kind of followed him from different stops. So I'm guessing that he's going to be the guy that calls the plays. It'll be him and Jamarcus Shepard as co-offensive coordinators. They'll fill in the gaps. I don't think that it's a monumental loss that Grubb is going to the NFL. Yeah, would we have liked to have him? Sure. I mean, it would have been fantastic, right? But this is the process that we've dealt with at Alabama for years now. Um, I would be more concerned if I was UCLA and my head coach left to be an offensive coordinator because that tells me that 
we're not putting in the money and the resources to have success. And for this guy to have success and chip Kelly, he's got to go become an, an assistant again to, to, to find success. He's not going to find it at UCLA. That kind of gives you an idea of where college football is going. Alabama is just going to shift some guys around and, uh, and they'll get it figured out. The offensive side of the ball is still going to be DeBoer's baby. And then, you know, he'll have somebody else that he can trust in Sheridan, if it turns out this way, uh, to help make those uh, play calls. So that's where we are right now. I'm not in a panic mode with this. I think that it was a possibility. I've said from the beginning, and you guys know this from, from being here, that if you want to go to the NFL, that's where you got to go. And I don't think that this is going to be the last college coach to go to the NFL. And it's kind of been that way forever, right? I mean, it's, it's, you know, for some people, their dream is to be in the NFL and they step up. Now, college used to be better, but now with the NIL and the transfer portal and, and no rules and all of that, and coaches constantly working and uh, putting the time in, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't see this uh, happen all over the place. So that's where we are right now. Uh, if something else happens, uh, we will jump on here and tell you about it. Don't forget tomorrow we'll have uh, we'll have Sunday rollback and we'll get into all this as well with the crew. But um, that's kind of where Alabama is right now. Uh, Ryan Grubb going to the Seahawks out of the offensive coordinator job a week after, less than a week after saying, hey, I'm going to be here, you know, but that's that's the world we live in, right? Let's go cue Nick Saban saying, I'm not going to be the Alabama coach when he was with the Dolphins. Um, I just, as much as I thought it was cool to have um, Grubb on the staff, I just don't think that this is, uh, I mean, yeah, it's 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 fine, but you got somebody else that's going to be able to, to slide up there and take this spot. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in Ryan Grubb and, he knew this was coming. He knew this was a possibility, and he's got a game plan. So good luck to uh, to Ryan Grubb, and unfortunately, we'll never know what it would have been like to have him work with uh, some of the players that we have at Alabama. All right, guys, uh, just want to remind you again that we are proudly presented by the folks at Pearl River Resort over in Choctaw, Mississippi, and um, they are right now celebrating 30 years and they've got a bunch of great concerts coming up. Uh, cool and the Gang, The Wallflowers, Brian McKnight. And they have some more that they haven't announced yet that are going to blow you away throughout the summer. So check it out. The uh, Ron White Comedy Show is sold out, so that's not available anymore. But they've got the table games in the slots. They've got Dancing Rabbit Golf Course and the Time Out Sports Lounge. So um, you're looking for something to do, maybe a place to watch the big game tomorrow. Uh, check out Pearl River Resort. Thanks for hanging out. Like and follow. Give us a thumbs up. Roll Tide, everybody.